What's up everybody, Nanos Racing 35 here. Uh, we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Kato Mainline Passing Siding Set. Uh, this is also known as V1, Variation 1. It is uh, the Unitrack uh, configuration. <clears throat> it's uh, the, the way Kato has their uh, layout track deal is uh, they have the master sets, which uh, there's two of them. There's an M1 and an M2. Um, the M1 is basically a, an oval, um, and then the M2 is an oval with this. So an M2 is basically an, is, is an M1 with this, but it's sold together as opposed to separately, which is how I got it. <clears throat> so we will look at this. Uh, you can see it's got a turnout control switch. Uh, a left and a right electrical turnout, which is just a switch. A 248 millimeter straight track, which equates to about 9.7 inches. Uh, it's 64 millimeters of straight track, which equates to roughly 2.5 to 3 inches. Um, and we will take it out of its box here, and uh, hopefully it's all in frame. I do not have um, a display of what the camera can see at the moment because my phone is being slightly ignorant. <coughs> um, these guys are the control switches. They are very similar in construction to the, um, the power pack. Uh, let me grab it out of the box over here. Uh, they're very similar in construction to this right here. Uh, they're made of the same color metal. Um, you may wonder how they hook up. Uh, good question. If you look on the side, there's two electrical contacts here. And they're just like buttons. Oh, I don't think that was in frame. There's two electrical contacts here. And they work just like buttons. And they kind of snap together. And it's on there pretty good. So you can control the switches like that. And you don't have to plug these in or wire them in because they just have um, very similar switch deal. Uh, and then you can have multiple ones because, look, there's more little buttons. Um, I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can have. Uh, I haven't looked into that, but it's very, very good design. They stay together fairly well. Um, you know, occasionally I'll bump it and they'll come unplugged from this, but if you have a well, you know, sorted out layout, it shouldn't be an issue. It also comes with this sticker, uh, sheet, and you can label them. Just put the little sticker there, so if you don't remember which, you know, which switch is which, then, uh, which switch is which, say that ten times fast, um, <clears throat> then you can just uh, label them and remember which one is which. Uh, it comes with two pieces of very slightly curved track. Um, I'm not even going to try and figure out an angle on that one. <coughs> uh, once again, this is Unitrack. It's very, very well put together. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the foam because pretty much what you see here is what you get. Um, it comes with six of these nine inch sections of track. So there's three there, and then there's three right in there also. <clears throat> I will look at the switches though. They have electrical connections. Um, ah, it got away, I've lost control of the wire. And it's got these little clips, which again, plug into these guys and they're very tight in there because they key in and it's really neat. Another thing is they have a groove so when you place the track down uh, firmly or, or flat on the ground they stay flush with the uh, surface of whatever's on there. And to the construction of the switches, um, if you've ever cocked a gun um, you know that metallic you know, feel, or if you, you have a manual transmission car that's like brand new, when you slot it into gear, it's it's just like a mechanical, you know, well-oiled feel. And 
that's how oh. these feel. Um, as my phone goes crazy. That's how these feel. They feel very, very well made. Um, I believe it's got a magnet in it that makes it kind of hop, uh, hop back and forth. Or help it hop back and forth, especially with the electronic <coughs> um, action. Uh, because you can actually control this both manually by using that little tab there. And you can control it electronically from the switch here. Um, I can see the length of wire being an issue um, because this is, uh, if, I, if I were to guess, I'd say maybe two and a half foot long. So it's not that um, it's not that long. So if you have a longer layout or a bigger layout um, and you have multiple switches, uh, you may have to end up um, cutting the wire somewhere along the middle and splicing in more wire to make the uh, make make the the length work so that you still have electronic control over your switches. Um, other than that, I think this is a really good set. Um, it's uh, retails for you know roughly sixty five to uh, eighty dollars was what I've seen on the internet. Um, I was able to pick it up for about sixty dollars. <coughs> um, other than that, I mean, the, the construction of everything is very, very well. Um, I, don't really, uh, I don't really have anything else to say. It's just really good. Um, let me see if I can find a picture of what it makes. Uh, yep, here we go. If you can see this. This is what it does. Uh, you have the main line, and then it does a little siding. So you can park a train on there, or, you know, just use it for uh, car storage. Um, so yeah, if, uh, if you have any questions, comments, um, feel free to, uh, make them be known, uh, rate, subscribe, uh, thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it.